Hey everyone, this is Beer Xenos, and we're going to take a look at the NECA Predator Kenner Tribute Wave. Whoa, hit the camera. High Force Predator. Now, this was not in their Predator line from Kenner. This was in their Alien line. They're in their High Force... Oh, I hit the camera again. They're in their High Force little line that they had going on. And this was just like a repaint and retooling of the normal Predator. That's what his biomass looks like. Really, really cool. Well, the, the packaging actually emulates the original Kinder packaging as well. You can actually see this actual image was on the right side of the Kinder packaging. And if you've seen some of my Kinder Alien stuff, hit the camera again, good lord. You know that they did this exact same style of packaging on the back. So, Kinder, this is just awesome. I mean, NECA, sorry. That's how it's deceiving me. NECA, this is just awesome. I'm a huge, you know, retro Kenner fan because their shit's just so cheesy and shit. So this is a perfect, perfect line for me to jump into the Predator collecting. And uh, you can see they add the NECA logo down here in the exact same font of the Kenner logo. So hell yeah. That's right up my alley. Oh, oh, look at the credits real quick. I like to do that if I can. Zoom in. Alright, so there we go. That's the credits for this figure. Oh, shit. Well, here's the figure that just took a fucking nosedive. And, uh, let's see if I can get my tripod. Okay, that did not work. Doing everything off to see my pants here, folks. I'm actually using. Another one of these packages for standing. Another video coming up. But, uh, yeah. Wow, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of this guy. Huge fan. I mean, I love the blue paint to him. Hey, kicker, where are you going? <laughs> okay, but yeah, he has this little, uh, scythe right here, or staff. Which looks really awesome. Here's his blade right here. I think these blades are supposed to rotate, but it's only rotating at the elbow. It's like a stiff joint here on mine. So it's basically when he bends his arm, his, his arm's just going to be funky looking like that, you know. And I'm not a big fan of that. It's supposed to swivel, I think. I might have some stuck pain there. I'm not going to fool with it because, honestly, this pose looks awesome. I mean, this pose looks really, really awesome. And sorry for the horrible, horrible lighting. This is the morning I just woke up. I need to get these hammered out. And uh, he also comes with a little plasma caster that you have to attach. And it's not broken like the video game one, thankfully. And uh, this guy is just awesome, awesome looking. I'm not sure exactly what all the parts they reused or anything like that. Because you know, this is... One of my first Predator figures, I mean, I still got the Wolf Predator. It's probably, you know, I'm going to bring that guy in right now. I'm going to bring that guy in right now. Alright. Here's the AVPR Wolf Predator. And uh, NECA has come a long, long way since 2007. I want to say 2007. 2008. 2008. So these came out a year after the game. Or movie, sorry. Ugh. So yeah, these... Uh, well, there's a huge, huge difference. First of all, there's only one... Uh, one... You tell I just woke up. One joint in the knee on this guy. Just bends like that. That's it. V cut at the waist. Swivel right there. No bend at the elbow. Just swivel right there, halfway in the bicep. Basically, this guy comes pre posed. Also, look at his face. There's a clear line where they just pop two pieces together. And even like the way they um, execute these plasma casters, so much better. So much better now. NECA really has stepped up their game. And here, let me get rid of this packaging. 
And okay, um, get on there. And this is the rest of the figure, and I really, really like it. Sorry for the horrible shadows here, people. But yeah, this is some reused feet from 2010. So yeah, this guy came out in uh, 2013 last year. So he's not that old. That's really gonna hurt people who don't really keep up with the line and know what's what and. Yeah, but this is just an awesome, I'll see, look at that, double band, double band. You can get so much range of motion out of this guy. And she's going to hell. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to be putting this guy in any kind of crazy poses or anything like that. He's going to be like this, with a staff hanging down like this. Like, come get me, bro. I think that looks, that looks badass. That looks truly badass. Yeah, let me bring in Dutch real quick. This is the um, Thermal Vision Dutch. And you can see there is a big size difference. This is pretty accurate. I think it is accurate to scale. This is the only Dutch I have at the moment. And, uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome scale. McFarlane, when I had these guys, same height. So, definitely inaccurate for McFarlane, but this is perfect. This is perfect scale. The fact that the Predator towers over Owen Schwarzenegger. That was the point of the movie. <laughs> if you haven't seen this figure review, go check it out. And wow, this guy is just awesome. Awesome. Highly recommend the High Wars Predator. Especially if you don't have any other Predators. I mean, you can't go wrong with the classic one, but that guy is like 40 bucks. And for some reason, the City Hunter is even more. So, City Hunter is from Predator 2, by the way. And this, this guy, you know, the, the Kinder Tribute Wave, they're kind of pig warmers on online stores. You know, they're like... Well, the Lava Planet one, which we're about to review in a minute, is like $13 to $15. Nobody really wants him. I like the look of it. This guy you can get for about $18 to $19. And I think it's worth every penny because this thing just looks amazing. I can't wait to start working on my Predator display. i got to get more, of course, but i got to get a shelf, too. I don't think I'm going to actually build a thing for these guys. I'm just going to have like an entire tribe of these guys on one shelf. So yeah, this thing just looks, this looks so menacing. Just like, come get me, bitch. <laughs> well, anyways, that's going to be for now. Uh, yeah, I love how, whoops, shuriken fell. I love how they have come a long way. A long, long way. This is awesome to see how NECA has progressed. I can't wait to see what, you know, like another year jump like this is going to bring. Oh, the Wolf Predator's out of here on camera. Wonderful. <laughs> mm. But yeah, this is really, really cool. And that's it for now. Leave a comment down below. Let me, uh, let me know what you think about this figure. Let me know what you think about the Wolf Predator. <clears throat> mm. I apologize. Ugh. And uh, yeah, this is just awesome. I highly, highly, highly recommend the High Wars Predator. Because it also has an alien tie too, so you know you can kind of throw them in your alien display. Because actually, the back of the figure gives them a little story. Probably should have said that. Here's the story: stranded for years on Xenomorph Planet. Yeah, the story basically tells that he's stranded on uh, a Xeno planet and has to defend for himself, and that's why his wrist blade is all funky because he made it himself. That's just awesome. I don't know how you got to keep the plasma caster on. But, yep, you know, that's that's it. Uh, I know I said that like four times already. But like I said, I'm, just, I'm very, 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 very barely awake. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, this figure, High Wars Predator, highly recommend. Go buy him. $18. Not a bad deal at all.